welcome once again to Radeki Auto Trading. So today we are going to talk about a very special car that sits pretty solid in the Kenyan transport market and I'm talking about the famous Toyota Hiaz 7L. So uh, there's another car like this one, the Nissan NV350 that uh, is the chief competitor to this Toyota Hiaz. So today we are going to talk more about Toyota Hiaz 7L. Alright, so this car has three trims. We have the DX, which is the entry level. We have the GL, which is the mid level. And we have the top range, which is, which is the Super GL or the Regius S, like this one here. So uh, in Kenya, this car is the most preferred transport vehicle or commuter vehicle. Uh, it is used in the transport market to transfer people or it is used as a PSV vehicle. Uh, other companies use it as a school van. Some companies use as a transport or delivery vans. And some other sections use it as a touring and travels van. So the good thing about this car is that it can be configured to suit what you want, to suit your preference. From the back side, you can see that this is the Regius S. At least it is almost the top tier. It has some uh, ventilation vents to the back side so that your passengers also feel comfortable uh, with the air. All right. So as we continue, uh, these cars are available in Kenya. Like this one here, this is a automatic diesel. It will cost you around 3.2 million Kenya shillings. On the front side, you are, as you can see, it has the halogen headlights and also projector LED headlights. All right. So it is li a little bit updated. It's not like the other versions. This being the fifth generation, it has more power and uh, it has been configured more. It is a little bit more comfortable. Also in terms of saf safety, it is, uh, has a higher safety standard. It is very well developed. On the back side, as you can see, it is spacious. We have no seats. It usually comes in this design so that you get to configure the interior on how you want it to be. You would want to put it uh, your passenger seats. Some other companies like the touring companies would prefer to put the VIP seats and configure it in a design that would suit their style of transport. Okay, so the transport sector, um, the commuter services and the school vans almost go for the same design, uh, which is different from the touring and travels uh, sector. On the front side, as you can see, there is nothing much. You have uh, some storage compartment here and generally the interior of it or the dashboard is somehow plasticky with some small small spaces where you can put one or two things you have also your 12 volt output you have the center console here that has this plastic casing i don't know how to open it generally it looks nice this car can handle any terrain it has uh, some good ground clearance it is well maintained uh, being a 3 liter diesel engine that is turbocharged, it has a lot of power and can take you anywhere. It, it has that power also that can carry a number of passengers without struggling on the road. And uh, if you want more stability or uh, a well-suited uh, powertrain, then uh, you would go for the diesel engine, which is manual. That will handle your transportation services really really well uh, diesel engine has that stamina and the torque that most people would want for and also the manual transmission is able to handle uh, the, tri the driving uh, on long distances so i would say this is the perfect design that anyone would go for so uh, uh, obviously as you can see this is automatic but if you want more stability and everything then uh, the diesel would be a better choice okay so everyone has their own preference but uh, if you want a long lasting car that can handle any terrain can go for long distances without any issues then i would say it's better if you go for the diesel uh, manual transmission that is somehow a good one that's as per me but everyone can do what they like all right so Another thing about this car is that it has a very good ground clearance, so there would be no issue about uh, going into some 
rough terrains this car can really handle it especially in kenya as you can see for yourself these cars are almost everywhere they go everywhere the touring and travels of course the roads are not, not always in good condition mm -hmm. but these cars usually go in and come out alive without any issues in terms of reliability and uh, durability i've i've seen a number of vehicles from the almost the third generation up to the fifth generation they are still going strong they are reliable cars they are dependable and they are very nice okay so if you're interested in any of these cars here in Kenya, then my number is 0711431667. You can text me on WhatsApp, you can call me directly or you can just send me a text message, I'll reply back. If you want to come to the showroom and view this car, then you just give me a call. We are within Mombasa CBD and uh, the yard is a few meters away from the showroom. So it would be really convenient to come to the yard and see for yourself first hand we also have a number of units as you can see you have this pearl white uh, 7l toyota hires on the first side you have another the blue one okay Hello? so in terms of pricing we've said uh, if you're going for the diesel manual you'll have to give us around 3.5 million shillings negotiable if it is a uh, diesel automatic you get 3.3 and if you're going for the petrol then it will be 3 million of course, the petrol is automatic transmission. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, support this channel by kindly subscribing so that you can see more content about these cars in the future. Thank you so much.